entity modules, bass drum synthesizers by SSF, accompanied by Gatestorm, which is also by SSF and Erogenous Tones, that's a collaboration module. We're going to use Gatestorm to trigger, and use these gates for modulation as well, not just rhythms. I'm going to listen to the sound of these two entity modules, and actually make more than bass drums with them. First, let's just trigger the module, so we take a gate rhythm, and an output, go into our mixer or sound card. And the first thing to mention is, there's two ways to control the length of this sound. The output can be controlled by the envelope or the general amp circuit. When it's on amp circuit, this controls the level of the output. The length of the note, at this point, is determined by this ring control. If we control the output with the envelope, the rise and fall, this will also statically offset the sound. But with that down, this envelope is what controls the output level fully. So even with a high ringing sound, so you can see that we can actually create bass swells. We've got linear, exponential, and logarithmic controls. and see how the envelope reacts differently. I'm going to leave this controlled by amp. You saw me move the pitch. Nicely wide ranging. Now if we want to actually get the pitch moving and create a typical 808 style kick, we control the FM, the frequency modulation of the pitch, with either the envelope, the FM input, or both. We're not going to use the FM input at the minute, so let's turn this up. And now this envelope, let's make these exponential, nice and tight, is going to control the pitch. Typical kick like thump. This is a bipolar control in that it allows us to amplify the signal in a positive way or invert that and do a negative control. So if I pitch it up, you can hear that starting low and coming up in pitch or coming down. Chances are you're not going to want that full. Cancel that out for now, get this ringing a little longer. We've got the body control, which goes from a, a kind of tight note. A little more thump at the start of the note in the middle. Something more flabby and... This is all very interactive, so let's bring that envelope back. We've got a saturation circuit. That's the controls on Entity. We've got our triggering that you can see we're using with Gatestorm. Our output, we've got CV over the rise and the fall. We get the envelope out, which if I plug in an LED cable, just to make that longer, you can see this is following this envelope. We also get a duck output, 
which is great for when you want to side chain something against this sound, typically side chain against the kick in an electronic production. The duck output, can you see that actually drops its level down? So if we were to control a VCA with a drone in sound, it would duck it when that hits, when this LED goes down, the level of the duck out goes down and then it comes up in between. So it's like an inverted envelope follower on the output. We'll check that out later in the video. We've got a separate FM input for this FM level control and switching. The ring CV and body CV, saturation CV, an amp CV, which you could use as a velocity input. We've got the volt per octave, which can make the core pitch of this follow a pitch signal. Great to try and match your kicks to a bass line. We've got an F mix, which is a filter input, and actually process sounds through this filter core inside the module. And an A mix, which is the amplitude mix, the output mix, and it's great putting noise in there to create snares and more clap-like glitches and different kind of percussion that this doesn't offer without a noise source. So let's get into some more sounds and check this out further. So in this patch, let's check out a few different features. I've got a kick on the first entity module. Fairly simple. And flicking this over to envelope. A little clicky sound. Now the actual ring and the length of this is kind of going to be irrelevant in this patch. So let's mix in some noise into the A mix input. Turning this up. You can hear we're triggering the internal sound, but without the envelope control in the output, this will just drone. We we'll can even take this trigger out. Going into F mix, we can use this as a filter. Ring controls the resonance. This is great for acidy synth lines, so we'll come back to that. Sticking with the A mix, I want the envelope to control this and also mix in a little sort of clicky sound. And let's make that clicky sound first. So that's fine. I'm then going to mix in to the air mix the noise. It's got a kind of metallic hi hat that's got a bit more punch coming from this. Let's bring the kick back. And let's check out the duck in. So if we take the duck out, and I've got this sound going into an external VCA, as soon as I plug this in, it's going to side chain and duck against the kick. So you can hear that common side chain sound against the kick drum. We could also CV the fall and notice that when I plug this in, it's going to drop the sound to zero and this fall control will become a CV attenuator. So it doesn't matter where that value was. It's attenuating the CV. Let's turn it up. So it's just a simple unsynced ramp LFO. If we don't want this to become as open with as long of a fall time, we can attenuate it. So we have external noise mixed in, the envelope controlling the amplitude of that noise, the duck output from a kick, ducking an external VCA, and CV over fall time. So let's check out Entity as a filter. And as I said, this, there's an F mix input where we can actually patch into the filter. We've got the A mix, which... Like we saw before mixing noise in, 
actually mixes into the output stage. But the filter input, we'll control this by amp. We're triggering this. Take the trigger out, F mix in. This is just a saw wave. A nice characterful vocal, quite distorted. Filter. We can clean that up. The ring becomes a resonance. Can saturate that. And the output. Listen to that bit of hair, that bit of grit. There's a different gain stage there to the saturation. So with two points to clip that. With the volt per octave in for the pitch, that can or the FM in, we can actually control this like a normal filter. Treat pitch as cut off, patch envelopes, LFOs in, any mix of the two with the amount of CV inputs we've got. And the ring CV becomes the resonance. I'm going to make use of the onboard envelope. And in the same way that this could affect the pitch when creating drum sounds, this can affect the cutoff. The switching for the envelope shapes. And the actual rise and fall control offers a lot of control for shaping the sound. It's already quite acidic. to my oscillator. for a great dirty filter that you can patch anything through in your system and with all this CV that you can control pitch, resonance, amplitude, saturation at a couple of points, onboard envelope it's a great tone shaper as well for other audio sources so to finish on, here's a much more complex patch and you can see Gatestorm by Erogenous Tones and SSF that offers us step sequencing, 8 gate outputs, logic, clock division, random rhythm generation we can manipulate these beats over gates and CV, tap tempo, clock input, great unit and that's what we've been using through the video. Instead of using your normal kind of modulation sources, such as LFOs, envelopes, sample and hold, I'm just using multi... I'm just using multiple gate outputs directly into Entity and using that CV attenuator feature to control the amounts of modulation. Turning down my sounds, 
there's a simple snare. Nothing changing. A hi hat, which is triggered from one gate output and its length modulated by another. So you get a kind of long and a short open hi hat. The right hand entity sounds like this. This has some LFOs from external sources modulating different parameters. I'm also taking the duck output feature we looked at to duck the first entity. And here's what all this modulation sounds like. Fidgety, it kind of sounds alive like it's moving. It's not quite perfectly crafted modulation, but what's happening is we're getting a lot of tones. It's a really good way to explore a module. And this sort of fidgety random sound will work well against the other beats. So mix those back together. 